Hey, third graders, we're going to use this picture book uh, for the entire week, and it's called Kamala and Maya's Big Idea. I'm wondering if you know anybody whose name is Kamala, if that rings a bell for you. This book was written by Mina Harris. You can see her name here at the bottom, and it was illustrated by Ana Ramirez Gonzalez. Mina Harris has an aunt, and her aunt's name is Kamala. Her mom's name is Maya. So this is a story written about an aunt and a mother. Okay, They're both very famous, but this one I think you might see on TV quite often. Let me see if I can find a picture. It might be a picture in the back of the book. So I'll show you. Now we'll talk about who you think this person is at the end of the story. Okay, so let's enjoy Kamala and Maya's big idea. You know, what should be out there? Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us, said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. A playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. They were going to need help. So here they are, two sisters looking out their window. Wouldn't it be great if there was a playground in the courtyard, Maya said. That does sound nice, Mommy agreed. How can we make it happen, Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord, the person who owns the building. Okay, so they're making a plan. So Kamala wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture and they went to see the landlord to discuss their idea. So if Kamala wrote the letter, okay, think about which one of these would be Kamala and which one would be Maya who's drawing. Here's Kamala. The landlord thought about it for less than a second. Hmm, I don't think so. Nope. That was not the answer they wanted, but they were, weren't ready to give up. That night, the sisters tried to think of ways to turn a no into a yes. So they're not giving up. love the illustrations, nice and bright. They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did. And they had ideas too. Let's have a teeter-totter and a basketball hoop and flowers. So Kamala wrote a longer letter and they went to see the landlord together. Dear landlord, Right now, the courtyard of our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, kids could go so far, so fast. Can you build it, please? Do you notice she's writing uh, an opinion letter, right? Trying to persuade her landlord, the person that owns the building, to do something. And I love how she says, right, it's empty, nobody uses it. Here's what we could do. If there were swings, kids could fly, right? If we had a sandbox, not only is there going to be a sandbox, but kids could build things, right? And then if you're having a slide, kids could go fast. So she came up with some good reasons why they should have all those things in their courtyard. The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. A project this big is expensive. We don't have the money for that. Do your parents know you're here? Hmm. This was not the answer they wanted, but Kamala was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it all ourselves, can we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about that for a whole 10 seconds. Finally, he shrugged. If you can do it yourselves, sure. So if she's not giving up, right? She keeps getting told no. Think about what kind of a person she is. Right? Think about the character traits that we could use to describe her, Kamala, or even 
her friends that live in the same building. This wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbors' doors. And this says, help us build a playground. But they got the same answers from everyone. I'm sorry. Wow, that is a big job. Wish I could help. Which they knew meant no, no, no. didn't just ask one person, they kept asking. But then, Mr. Green stopped to talk. I work construction, and I could maybe get some scrap lumber and some sand for a sandbox. Really? Kamala said. Yes, exclaimed Maya. Okay, I'll try. It wasn't a yes, but right now, maybe was the sweetest word they had ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. Look at how she's reacting. The next weekend, maybe turned into yes. So there's Mr. Green with his free scrap lumber. The kids all helped measure and Mr. Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. Then came the actual sand. So they had to build it before they could fill it up. They were all thanking Mr. Green when Ms. Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. Or, yeah, I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tire for a teeter-totter. Another maybe. Okay, so there's Ms. Lopez. Mr. Green's looking like he's been working hard what they're doing, enjoying their new sandbox that didn't cost them anything other than, right, some sweat. In the weeks that followed, lots of I don't knows turned into maybes and then yeses. Look at what they're doing here. Remember somebody wanted to plant some flowers? There's the teeter-totter with the tire at the bottom. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Kamala and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground, so they made another big poster inviting their neighbors to a potluck party. So they're going to celebrate together. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad, Strawberries and brownies and lemonade. Mrs. Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through. Mr. Green brought the music. You can see the kids right in the middle of my page there. There's their sprinkler. Kamala admired the new playground, but she noticed there was still one thing missing. You know what that one thing is? No one knew how to make a slide, but Miss Flores knew where they might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary and they're redoing their playground. Maybe we could buy the old slide. This was a different kind of maybe. Uh, how can we afford that maybe? But now everyone was trying to find a way to turn that maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale. We can all bring toys and books and have a sidewalk sale. So they're getting creative, right? How are they going to make some money? They can sell some things. No one could do everything, but everyone could contribute something. So here they are selling lemonade, it's like they're having a little bit of a garage sale, yard sale, sometimes we call it a tag sale. Right, selling things we don't need anymore, but they're new to somebody else. 
Right? So everyone could contribute something. When the slide arrived at last, Maya and Kamala got the first ride. Do you remember at the beginning, the very first thing she said looking out the window was, right, they needed a slide out there. The landlord was impressed. I want to shake your hands, girls, he said. You did a good job. You all did a good job. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Look at the courtyard now. Teeter-totter, the slide, there's the sandbox, there's their flower garden. Hooray for Kamala and Maya. Hooray for the her sisters. What's next, Kamala? Kamala, looking up, said, I'm wondering what the view is like from the roof. Hmm. Now here are some real pictures. So these are what kind of information? Do you remember that, talking about that in social studies? Right, we've got real photographs primary sources. So here's a picture of Maya, right, the mother of the author, and her aunt Kamala, as they were young girls, this is them in the 1970s. So this is Maya, and this is Kamala. Here they are again, playing together as little girls. This is a story about their life. Here they are with their mother when they were little girls. Okay, and here they are very recently. Do you recognize the lady in the middle? So this is Mina, she's the author. This is Maya, her mother. And this is her aunt Kamala. Kamala Harris, does that ring a bell to you? She's our vice president of the United States. Right? So she started at a young age doing a lot of things for her community. And she showed right, that when we all come together and work together, we can achieve a lot of things. Look at that. This is a true story about what these girls did just by having a big idea and getting other people involved.